Yeah, oh, no. See that up there in the center? Mm -hmm. That's us. And when they brought the, uh, the cardboard over, they had one like that. They were just about the same age uh, of us on it. That was quite a deal. He's the one on the, on the left and I'm on the right. Mm -hmm. We was considered twins Almost. until we were about seven or eight years old because mm -hmm. mother dressed us all alike. <laughs> you think Intel's gonna fold up, Jim? No, sir. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, uh, do you have any other thoughts that you'd like to share before we end? The military, the post office, or what? Um, your, your World War II experience. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, it's nice to call out one or two or three good friends that you could count your friends. You, you would know that if you're clean cut, you ought to, they ought to be clean cut. And there was one, but he, he gave me his money in California to hold for him because we was going to get our firm while he's at furlough. He said, whatever you do, don't give this money back to me because they was getting to where they were shooting dice and now no one was that hard on us with finishing up our training. And if he wanted it, you know, gamble it, you know, don't give it to him. Don't give it to him. You've heard that before. Oh, he pestered me and I threatened me and all that. I wouldn't, but finally I did. And he, he uh, wasted it away. So I just know not to ever do that again. Help the guy keep his own money. But I was trying to do a, do a favor. He, as a matter of fact, he's the one that walked around on my heels. <laughs> oh. There's only one guy I saw ever get a, what do they call it, the GI bath. It wasn't me. What's the GI bath? They take him, strip him down, and brush him with that stiff brush all over. He gets to where he smells. I mean, it, you know, you gotta, you, well, that would be another thing, be sure and take baths. I don't care how, but, and there'll be other things. You know, like you say, I'll, I'll be there if you want me to, to wherever. Did you get forced before you left to go to war? Do what? Did you get forced to take something to hold for you? Oh yeah, I gave, gave him a, oh, I gave him a pen, a pencil, a pen. This he gave it back to me. Do you know Forrest? Forrest Tate? Yeah. Do you know him? I do. He's a, he, he worked a little bit at the post office before he started selling foot cars. And his dad was the old rural carrier that retired. And I knew his family like that. And uh, a lot of things about him is good. He's a good friend, business friend. I bought my first vehicle from him, that 36 Ford with a rumble seat. You imagine the girls that got. And the twin pipes. He bought a 39 Ford Coupe with the money I gave him. And I bought his 36. It was maroon with cushions, dual pipes. That's when the police come up and park by me. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was one day he come by to pick me up in that 39 Ford Coupe. My brother and I had a, I had it, and then we had it together, a sedan. But we were out here seven or eight miles. The pavement went out there to uh, Bud's car or Kyrene. There, there was a tavern there, and he had been over to a girlfriend's up on Kyrene Road. I was with him, and we come home when he hit Chandler or Williamsville Road Arch. It was called West Cleveland back in the early days. When he hit that, he hit the gas. And like I say, I was advanced way beyond my years. I looked over at his um, 
speedometer, he was going 106 miles an hour. And I knew not to startle him or say anything. I just sat there and wrote it out. And I never got in there again. <laughs> but he was that kind in the early days. So you gave him a pen? I didn't left? give it to him. I, he, somehow I got it and I loaned it to him. That was before the post office was furnishing pens. So you gave, so he got a pen and then when you came back he gave it to you? Yeah, I, I didn't want it, I didn't even, you know, but he gave it to me. He never did go in the service. He was, he was about a year or two years younger than me at school. Him and Jerry Skousen, do you remember that name? And uh, people his age and the age of that girl I was going with, she was about the same age. But I don't know. Forrest made a lot of money. His his son's wife goes to church where we go. His son, I won't talk about that. Okay. Well, I sure appreciate you doing this interview with us. It's been really well, interesting. I know I've been tedious, and I've met, I've left. I missed a lot of stuff. <laughs> I went one time in Camp Roberts. I always like to go swimming my wife when we married that was our thing to do go out to the old JC swimming pool swim go and like I say I finally went in to the town I saw they had a nice swimming pool and I went swimming and it was foggy or cloudy and I thought man I wanted to get some sun on me to get some tan and uh, I was there quite a bit, but I had fun. It was, but it was cloudy. And I'd been back to the barracks. I was sitting down to taking my shoes off. I felt this stinging on my legs. I was red as a beet. And you know they frown on you getting getting uh, sunburned too. You take care of yourself. And the next day we went on a hike, I had that full field pack and that thing is just like it was ripping skin off of me. But you still don't say that. I don't say things. <laughs> now when I come through on the delay in furlough, I went swimming. I was bouncing on the diving board. I went a little too far and this foot went back and hit the corner of the diving pool. I mean the diving board. I could show this scar, but I'm not gonna take my shoe off. Oh man, that just, and a couple of days later I was on the train going to Count Maxi. And there when we'd walk around at night or off on the gravel, gravel would come up and hit that, oh it'd almost take me to the ground. But I couldn't do anything. I never had said anything about it. And I went to the PX, got me some boric acid. I don't know if you know what that is. It's, some, it's an acid you use on sores or cuts. And put that on there and toughed it out. It was about three or four or five weeks going on hikes and things. I didn't know when I was gonna go down. And they charged me $5.36. I'm glad they did, otherwise I wouldn't have nothing to gripe about. All right, well thank you. I'm gonna end with that one. That sounds good.